Hi, this is Ben. Let's do a cross race. The awesome thing about cyclocross is that every course is different, but things stay the same for me. I have my Richie Zero seat post. I have my WCS Evo Curve in a 44, and I have a uh, the WCS Toyon in a 100 mil. On my geared bike, I can choose between running a 40 or a 42 front ring and a 1033 or a 1036 in the back. For this course, I put my 40 to a 42, but the 1033 is gonna be awesome. When I rolled out on this course, I tried to go for a, a intermediate tire, but there's really steep stuff on the back, both up and down, and so I'm choosing to go for a little bit more bite with the Challenge Baby Limus. For this race, gears are the way to go, but for my B-Bike, single speed. Cool thing about a B-Bike is that a lot of the touch points are exactly the same. Seat post, bars, stem, same width, same length, all of the above. And then we get into single speed territory. I will choose my gearing based on the course. It's the wrong gear every single time, but you can make it less wrong. For this course, I'm doing a 4017, which is I use on my the flattest of courses. Uh, there's a lot of pedaling here, so I don't want to get spun out. For the tires, I am using the, the full Limus Big Mud Boys because they're already set up on the bike and sometimes it's less stressful than having, uh, than having the right tread. Now that you know what I'm riding, let's go race a bike. Wow, what a race. That was so fast. The gear was was good. I really liked having the uh, more tread for the downhill. It was pretty rowdy, uh, and it gave me a little bit more grip on the uphill. That said, the rest of the pedaling bits, I think I would have liked less tread. So, you know, that's always the, the compromise in cyclocross. There's no perfect choice. Some ways you gain, some ways you lose. Yeah, everything else was great. Uh, it was fast, it was fun, and the crowds were awesome. And that's how cyclocross is done.